Korean actors have been making their mark in Hollywood in recent years, breaking barriers and adding diversity to their cast. With Lee Jung Jae to appear in the upcoming Star Wars series and Park Seo Joon being cast for the Marvel's film, fans are ready for their Hollywood debut. Emmy-winning actor Lee Jung Jae is set to take a new challenge as a Jedi Master in The Acolyte, an upcoming Star Wars series to be streamed on Disney+. Lee attended a Star Wars celebration held in London last Friday where he expressed his excitement for the project. 그래서 아마 스타워즈가 아니었다면은 아마 이 작품을 못 한다고 거절했을 것 같아요. 근데 누가 스타워즈를 거절할 수 있겠어요? 더군다나 라이트세이버를 쓸수 있다고 하는데. He added that the Acolyte could be the most interesting of the Star Wars stories. The Acolyte will focus on the emergence of the dark side of the Force in the final days of the High Republic era. The series consists of eight episodes and is scheduled to be released in 2024. Moving on, we have actor Park Seo Joon joining the MCU family. Yesterday, Marvel Studios dropped a teaser trailer for The Marvels, the upcoming sequel to Captain Marvel, which showed the first official glimpse of Park's character, Prince Yan. While his appearance in the trailer was brief, he showed his charisma and long hair, raising curiosity about his part in the movie. He is the third Korean actor to star in a Marvel movie, following Soo Hyun known as Cloud Kim in Avengers Age of Ultron and Korean-American Ma Dong Seok who appeared in Eternals. The Marvels is scheduled to hit theaters on November 10th.